So in following up what we did on the warm-up, uh, this is a picture of two people who are riding a bike, and this is the measurement of their distance, and then these gray boxes here are the measurement of their times. Uh, this girl went faster than the boy, and here's how we know. She rode her bike faster because in two seconds she had traveled a distance of eight meters, and in two seconds the boy had only traveled four meters. So here's how we can measure speed. We measure speed in terms of distance and time. The girl went faster because she covered more distance in the same amount of time as the boy. So let's get to some of your notes. On the page that you're working on today, slide one for speed. Here are some notes that you need to take. The first is that speed of the speed of an object is determined by how far it can go in a given amount of time. If we're going to say that um, a car went 50 miles per hour, that means that we're talking about the distance they went and the time it took them to get there. Distance uh, means how far the object went and time means uh, how long it took them or how much time it took them to go that particular distance. Uh, you need to write both of these things down that speed includes an object's distance and an object's time. That's why we say miles per hour because miles is the distance and time is how long it took them. Some examples of units for distance are kilometers, meters, centimeters, miles, inches. In science we won't use miles and inches a lot because it's not metric. Uh, but those are units of distance. And then some other units of time would be minutes, seconds, hours, we could even say years, um, milliseconds, all of those are units of time. In continuing on with the speed slide, we know that speed, uh, the speed of an object is determined by how far it can go in a given amount of time. So uh, if we're going to say that a race car is fast and a bicycle is slower, obviously you would know that the race car has a faster speed than a bicycle. But what exactly does that mean? If we're going to talk about fast and slow in terms of distance and time, an object that's fast is fast because it covers a lot of distance in a short amount of time. An object is slow because it covers, I'm sorry, I'm going to move this out of the way if you can't see it. Uh, it covers a short distance, but it takes a long time. We can describe fast as an object covering a little distance in a short amount, of, I'm sorry, a lot of distance in a short amount of time. And slow would be an object that covers a short distance, it takes them a long time time. So this is how we define fast and how we define slow. Pause the video if you need in order to get these notes for slide one. Slide two, velocity. Velocity is a term that simply describes the speed of an object in a given direction. And here's how I remember. I give myself a V for velocity. Velocity is speed in a given direction. Uh, direction meaning north, south, east, west, um, up, down, left, right. So speed is a measure of distance and time. Velocity is a measure of speed which is distance and time, but also in a given direction. And an example would be that the velocity of this airplane is 50 miles per hour going west. If all I said was 50 miles per hour, that's just the speed. But once I add a direction, then I've described the plane's velocity. Slide three. Slide three is all about calculating speed and average speed. The speed of an object, the, the way to calculate it is speed equals distance divided by the time. If I'm trying to calculate the speed of an object, I need to know the distance because that's speed along with the time, and then you would divide them. Uh, something else you need to know is that another word for speed is rate. Some people say that this uh, math formula is rate equals d over t, or distance divided by time. Whenever you're calculating speed, always include your unit. If you're talking about miles per hour or meters per second, that per in there is what tells you that this is a speed unit, not just a distance and not just a time, because you're talking about miles per hour or meters per second. So let's talk about an example. So let's say uh, this is a speed problem. A girl rode her bike eight meters, that's her distance, in two seconds. So I would set up my problem like this. Speed equals distance divided by time. Her distance is 8 meters over 2 seconds. 
And so then if I were to divide those two, 8 divided by 2, her speed would be 4 meters per second. Now average speed is a little bit different. Average speed means you get total distance and divide it by the total time. Uh, so for example, uh, let's say that a cheetah runs 50 meters in 10 seconds, takes a break, then runs another 70 meters in 10 seconds. Well, here you have two distances and you have two different times. Here's the steps. If you have two different distances or two times, you would first add the distances, then add the times, and then you would divide. So for example, uh, in this problem, I would take 50 meters plus 70 meters, which gives me a total of 120 meters. Then I would add the times. The two times that Cheetah ran was 10 seconds and 10 seconds. Oh, this is a typo. I apologize. It should be 10 plus 10 seconds, which equals 20 seconds. So now that I've added the distances, I've added the times, now I can divide them. 120 meters divided by 20 seconds, that's going to give me a speed of 6 meters per second. Something that a lot of people have a hard time with is just identifying uh, what's a time and what's a distance. So here's a trick we're going to use in our class. Since clocks are round, whenever you see a time, we're going to circle it. And since rulers are straight, whenever you see a distance, we're going to underline it. So here's just a quick example. This is not in your notes. Uh, Robin took her car to Fresno. Without the kids in the car, it only took her three hours. Hours is a time, so we'll circle it because clocks are round. And it took her three hours to drive the 300 miles. 300 miles is a distance. Rulers are straight, so we underline it. But when she had the kids, she had to stop a lot, so it took her four hours to get there. Four hours is a time, so we circle. Calculating speed. Here's a few more practice ones. I'm going to do a few for you, and then you're on your own. Lance Armstrong rode his bike in Spain for 24 hours without stopping. 24 hours is a time, so we circle it. In that time, he went 400 miles and won the race. Underline it. Number two. The race car drove at a speed of 120 miles per hour. Now in this case, I see a per, so this means this is a time and a distance. I'm gonna do both because this is a speed. In these problems, all you're doing is identifying what's the speed, I'm sorry, what's the speed, what's the time, and what's the distance. You're not calculating anything until you get to the bottom of this paper. So for questions one, two, three, and four, just circle the times, underline the distances, and if you get to a speed, do both, because speed is both distance and time. You're on your own for the rest. Please read the instructions to finish.